What's up, Legacy Squad? It's your girl, Corian, back with another what video. Um, first, before we get into everything, I want to, or should I say, get into story time. I want to address two things. Um, the first thing I would like to address is um, Walmart. Um, I took a poll on my Instagram trying to see what people thought about the ice cream situation and them trying to trademark Juneteenth and 100% of y'all did not agree with it and um, it took a minute for me to realize like because like I heard about it and I was like well it's just ice cream but then I realized why I am not okay with it so the reason why I'm not okay with it is because they're trademarking a day that is meant for um meant for the emancipation of slaves like um why aren't they making um trying to make money off of or make ice cream for july 4th independence day like why aren't they trying to do that um but enough said i don't plan on supporting walmart i don't plan on uh buying anything that deals with that from walmart like the ice cream or anything like that i don't plan on buying it if y'all want to buy it that's y'all's money but i wouldn't do it so that's really up to y'all but another thing i would like to address is um this is about to be the end of mental health awareness month and i feel like it needs to be addressed because i feel like a lot of people may go through something um go through something in their lives and they don't feel like it's okay to share what they're going through or they don't feel like it's okay to acknowledge how they feel well i'm here to say that it's very important to acknowledge how you feel it's very important to um share with your friends and family what what you're going through you may not feel comfortable but you got to find that one person that you feel comfortable sharing information with so that you won't be going through something alone because i understand the struggle of um say for instance the stresses of college um this it's, it's a lot of things that people stress out about and everything but they're not the only ones that stress out about it so there's other people that you can go to and talk to about what you're going through because you're not the only one going through it um but i feel like it's very very important for friends and family members to check up on each other because you never know what who what any individual is going through in your a uh, friend group or family group or anything like that like um i feel like support is the main thing when it comes to mental health awareness like you need to have that support cuz like some people may like people may come to you and ask you how you're doing um if you're okay um how was your day and you just say okay and sometimes you might not just be okay but i know some people may not be willing to share what they're going through but as long as you show up for that person and are there they'll feel they'll feel some type of comfort i feel like they'll feel some type of comfort and so yeah mental health awareness month y'all need to everybody needs to be aware of what's going on in the world and um also being there for people like is very important but another thing that kind of goes along with mental health awareness so like if you're going through something it's important to also like i guess have your self-care days because you know you may be going through so much going through the motions of the week and having to work having school or whatever your week holds or whatever it is that you do during the week but if you don't have your own self-care day then you're not taking time out for yourself and you're not um really reflecting or reflecting on, on on the week and reflecting on what what you want to do in the future stuff like that so it's very important to have your self-care day um treat yourself and do stuff like that but um i'm at torchies right now I'm going to order something new and try it on camera with y'all and also give y'all a story time about how I got locked inside of my room. I mean, who does that? Who gets locked inside their room? But y'all give me a second. I'm about to go inside here and then I'm going to um, 
yeah, get um, something new from the menu. Um, yeah, so see y'all. Y'all, I'm back, and I secured the bag. So I got the fried avocado. It's vegan, but I added chicken because I didn't know how it would taste. I was nervous about that, so I added chicken to it. But y'all, okay, so. Or I can I guess continue I'm gonna try one bite and then I'll let y'all know <laughs> how it tastes and then after that I'll go into the story time oh it looks good let's see if I can show y'all don't this look good with the chicken on there and I'm gonna put some sauce on here okay this sauce is good Oh, it's kind of spicy. The sauce is kind of spicy. All right, y'all. So let's see how this tastes. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So um how i got locked inside my room so i was staying on campus at the time and i had a roommate and so there was a few times where i locked myself out the room now the first time you go to um res life or whatever um the first time you go to res life it's free for them to unlock it and i think the second time is free too but the more you go to them, you, they're going to start charging you. So I decided that I was going to figure out how to get in myself because I was not about to be paying no charges. I think it was like 25 the first one and then 50 the second one and then I guess 100 it goes up or whatever. But I wasn't about to be paying it. So I figured out how to get in there with a knife and I got in there. But I feel like maybe me doing that a few times probably like messed up the hinges or something. So, yeah, so we end up having to call our RA because one day I went into my room to take a shower and stuff, and then I got locked inside my room. I was locked, like I was literally trying to open the door and it was not budging. Like I was turning the knob, it was turning, but the door wasn't opening. So I had to call my um, roommate and she uh she um you know helped assist me with calling the RN and stuff and she also tried to help me get out so the crazy thing is it's like right when the ra knocked on the front door to come and help me she also had a husband had a husband that stayed with her on campus so they both came to help and right when they came to knock on the door she got the door she got my my room door open so she closed it immediately because obviously the door was still gonna be broken even if um even if i was about to get out so she closed it immediately <laughs> so and i got stuck in there again so i ended up having to crawl out my my bedroom window to um the through the front door so, so that i can go through the front door and then they end up taking my doorknob off the hinges and stuff or off the door or whatever and eventually it took them some time for maintenance to come through and help assist out but maintenance came through and replaced a lot the doorknob and everything and i was good i was good after that but i was literally locked inside my room i was petrified i was super petrified because i was like who gets locked inside their room i mean i get maybe getting locked outside your house or something like that or like you know forgetting your key or something like that but no it wasn't even I got locked outside of my room. I got um, locked inside of my room. So, yeah, that's the story time. But, y'all, excuse me. Y'all, I'm going to finish this and I will um, hit you guys later. I have to go to a kensei. Um, I have to go to one, one of my cousin's kenseis. And so, I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all guys later.